Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, live from M60 RV right here in Jones, Michigan. As you can see right there is M60, and right here we have the RVs. That's how we came up with the name, M60 RV. Okay, so what I wanna show you is one of our newest members to our family here. It's a 2024 19.2 No Bow. The No Bow stands for No Boundaries. Why is No Boundaries? This coach here you can take and get off the beaten path. You got a 200 watt solar panel on the top, which will run your refrigerator, run all of your outlets, and run all of your lights inside. So if you wanna get out and just get away from everybody for a little bit, you can do it and it's equipped to do that. Okay, let's look at the front cap here. The front cap is a molded fiberglass front cap, okay, which you do have the running lights there on the top. It does have a tinted windshield here in the front, which is dual pane for you as well, okay? Then here you have the two 20-pound LP bottles in the front. The nice thing about the 20-pound LP bottles is if they run out of LP, you can just take them off, take them to the local gas station or the LP place, Walmart, whatever it is, and just exchange the LP bottle. Okay, you have a power front tongue jack here in the front, which does have your light right here for you. And then you can do to adjust your levels for hooking and unhooking right there. And then in order to get the coach level when you get to the campsite. Then here in the front, you have the place to put your battery right there. Okay, which we have one temporarily hooked up. Just a small little feature right here. You have a place that you can store your power cord right here. Okay, that you hook into the truck. So it's not flopping around or whatever it may be. Then there you have your battery disconnect. Okay, so what the battery disconnect will do for you is when you're done camping, just take that and turn it to off and then it'll prevent you from taking your battery and wearing it down for you, okay? So we come on around to the front. You're a gel coat fiberglass all the way around. This is a laminated product right here for you. Then here you do have your full pass through. One thing I want you to notice right here, you have this little metal piece here and you have a magnet right there. So you just take it, set it up and right there it is. But look at all the pass through storage that you have there. This here is something which is nice, which we'll show you once we get inside. You do have a central back in this coach, which is pretty impressive. Okay, but there's a nice place you can store your lawn chairs, your fishing poles, your firewood, whatever it may be, your souvenirs you pick up as you go around this great country of ours. You do have two jacks in the front and then two jacks in the back, which will help stabilize the coach for you so that way you're not bouncing. Okay, then right here you have your city water connection. Okay, so when you get to the campsite, just get your water hose, hook it up to the water source, run it right here, and then that'll run all the water all the way through the coach. Then here you do have the gravity fill. Okay, so this, you have 30 gallons of fresh, 30 gallons of gray, and 30 gallons of black. Okay, 30 gallons of fresh water is your potable water, your drinking water, the gray water comes from your sink and your shower, and then the black water comes from the stool. Okay, so down there you have your fresh water drain. Okay, so that way if you want to drain your fresh water when you get the end of the season, going to winterize it, you can do it right there. Okay, this, you do have the off-road Goodyear tires on there for you, okay, which this does have the beast mode. Okay, Mr. Cameraman, if you can go down there, this is a truly independent suspension. Look at how beefy that is. Okay, so that way when you're going down the road, when you're towing or if you're going off-road or whatever it may be, as opposed to if you had just a straight axle, your whole trailer jumping like this, this is independent. So it'll just go the one tire to the other tire, so it's going to give you a much smoother ride for you. Okay, here's where you have your cable and your satellite hookup right here. Here's where you have your 30 amp power cord, which is all sealed, so you don't have to worry about the critters going in there. Okay, so down here, this is where you do your dumping. Okay, you have your gray and your black tank for you. You always want to do your black first and then do your gray. Okay, so that way it cleans it all out. There you can see the two jacks that are on the back. Okay, then right here, we have our black water flush. Okay, so what's the black water flush do for you? We just hook our water hose up on that, open up our black water tank, got little sprayers on the inside so that way you don't get a false reading. You do have a ladder right here so that way you can get up on the top of the roof and do your yearly maintenance. Mr. Cameraman, if you want to go ahead and elevate yourself, show everybody what's up there. Okay, so you can see you got the nice TPO roof so that way you got the radius runoff so that way you're not going to get any uh, water places that are just sitting up there. You can see your solar panel that's up there for you as well. Okay, see your TV antenna. Right here you do have the drains for the water runoff so that way if it rains take the water and bring it away from the trailer. Nice thing the no boundary has for you is you do have the ability to do the backup camera. Okay, 
So you just get the camera, which we do sell here in our parts department. You hook it up right there. You have the monitor system inside the trucks. That way when you're backing up, you can see what's going on here. It makes it a lot easier for you to park too as well. And will also prevent some arguments between you and your significant others to where left and right. And you know, it's the other left, okay? No, this just takes it all out for you, okay? Here's where you put your license plate right here and it is lit for you got your gas electric water heater right here place to store your sewer hose okay then right here if you want more solar panels you can hook it right here it comes with like a suitcase which we do sell in our parts department as well and hook up there and then that'll give you 20 more amps of solar power right here you do have the outside grill okay which will hook up right here for you and then you do have your gas quick connect right there so you just take the grill hook it up to the gas quick connect and you run right off of your LP bottles in the front okay and here's where you have your outside shower so that way if you're out hiking whatever it is fishing got to clean some fish you can just come in here hook up the hose itself that way spray yourself off clean yourself off or if you want to shower outside you can do that as well too if you're out around nobody else or, or I don't know wherever okay but you do have the ability to do it here you have the power patio awning, okay, which does have the LED light strip in there. So at the end of the day, after you guys have made your great family memories, you can sit and talk about it and just say how much fun it was and how much great family time that you had, okay? And it is power, and you do have the ability to adjust it so that way if you're going out, you can tilt it so that way the water will run off for you. Here you have the nice big window right here, which will allow you to get some airflow. Right here, what Nobo does for you is this will give you all of your specifications on the trailer. The hitch weight's 480. The unloaded vehicle weight is 4,003 pounds. Cargo carrying capacity is 1,347. Exterior length is 21 feet 10 inches. Uh, exterior height is 10 foot 6. Exterior width is 7 foot 4. Fresh water 30. Gray water 30. Black water 30. And you got a 14 foot awning for you right there. Okay. You do have the nice black door there, which gives it a nice, clean, sharp look for you. You got the more ride steps right here, which are going to be very sturdy for you. Have the adjustable legs on the bottom, so that way you can get it so it's level. Here's where you have the other side of your pass-through right there for you. Okay. And you can see there's a little table you can hook up for when you're cooking, and then you got your grill right there for you. Okay. So, plenty of room there. So, would we like to look on the inside? Well, of course we would. Let's see what it's got. Okay. So, again, your more ride step. Here you have your door. You have your screen door right here for you. And then you have your little closure right here. So that way you can shut the door. Get some nice airflow throughout if it's not too hot and you don't have the air conditioner on. <clears throat> Nobo does give you this here. Just kind of gives you a little rundown of everything for you. The Asdell, Asdell exterior construction. What is the Asdell? The Asdell is the backer between the lamination. Used to be a phylon backer, which could get wet, and then that could separate. Luon, I'm sorry. Luon. Luon, yes. And that could then separate, and you'd get some delamination. That's phylon. Okay, that's phylon right there. Yeah. The Asdell is what's behind that. Okay? Aluminum cage construction. You got block foam insulation. All new Kurt Beast, which we showed you on there for your independent suspension paired to the all-terrain tires heavy duty marine grade roof decking protected by the pvc roofing membrane the rhino rack system on the top standard solar package which we showed you up there which you have the inverter and the charge controller standard more ride step above steps standard front 60 by 22 dual pane automotive grade front windshield standard cold weather package so you are heated underneath so that way if you're out in the cold weather your holding tanks will be heated and the standard tire pressure monitoring system which will have a little you can hook up to the front of the trailer and you have a little monitor system you put inside your truck and then that way it'll show you there this is something that i think is very nice that forest river does for you it's called the care camps it's fighting cancer and making memories. So Forest River will donate to the care camps for every product that's bought for them and help some kids maybe that are out there that are fighting cancer get out and see this great country of ours. It's a great thing that they do for you, okay? So let's come on inside. So we're inside, okay? So we're in the front of the trailer. Here you can see you have your couch. At the end of the day, if you wanna sit down here and talk about what's going on, you have your dinette right there for you, okay? Then right here, you might say, hey, well, how do we sleep? Okay, you can see you've got the map right there. It can tell you every place that you can go. Okay, then you just put that down like that. Okay, then you have this little lever right here. You just pull out. This will come down here. Okay, then your bed. 
and come down here. So you got a Murphy bed. Okay. What's nice about that? Well, the fact that, hey, you know, you're not sleeping all the time, right? So if it's raining outside, you got a little 19 foot trailer, you still want to come inside and do some things, just put the bed up. And then that way you can sit and converse and it's out of the way because the majority of the time you're out camping, you're going to be outside. Okay. Here you have some hanging space right here. Okay. Then we have some hanging space on this side. You do have two plug-ins right there. You have a place that you can plug in your phones for charging. This here will turn on the lights inside of the cabinet. You do have two plug-ins on the other side as well. And there's your window. That's your emergency exit right there for you. Okay. Then we come to the kitchen. You got the nice round sink, which is nice and large. The high-rise residential faucet with the pull-out sprayer. Okay. This here is about your curt. No boundaries. Okay, the Kurt uh, suspension system. You can see what it does right there for you. You do have some storage up here. Okay, we do have some more storage down here. You do have some plug-ins right here. Here's where also you have your microwave. Okay, then see this right here, this little foot right here. Remember the little bag down there? You can hook all your hoses and everything up right here. Just flip this on with your foot right there, and that'll turn the central vac on, so that way you can do some sweeping or whatever it may be right there. Okay, then here you have your two burner cooktop. Okay, you do have the fan on the cooktop above, and then you also have the light right there for you. Okay, then here we have our 12 volt refrigerator. Okay, nice good size for you. This is your tire pressure monitoring system right here. Okay, this is what sets in your truck for you. Okay, then here we have some more storage right here. Here, some more storage here. This is your controls for your heater and for your air conditioner. Right here is your air conditioner. It is a forced air conditioner, so you just turn it on, and then that way the air will blow out this way and get you cool all the way throughout. Then here in the front, you do have your TV here. It is a 12-volt TV, so like I was telling you earlier on that solar panel on the top, you can run your TV, you can run all of your plugs, and you can run all of your lights right off of that uh, solar panel. Okay, And that is on a swing arm, so it's going to be easy for you to view. Then right here is where you have for your water heater right here to turn it on okay then your water pump so if you're dry camping you just put that on and then that'll help get the water throughout the whole trailer for you remember we told you about the heated holding tanks this is where you turn it on it's got the heating pads for the fresh the gray and the black it's your light switch right here okay then here we have a pantry okay and you do have your furnace right there for you okay then here we have some more storage what i think is pretty impressive look at that it even comes with a safe okay so you got some stuff you want to store you can do it right there lock it up nobody can take anything from you got your window oh you also have a bluetooth speaker okay it's in the safe, it's in the safe which we locked it up okay just to be safe get it in the safe to be safe okay here's where you have your bathroom sink you have some more storage down here Okay, you do have your shower. Something that is nice on the Nobo as well, too. It has the Shower Meister. What does the Shower Meister do for you? Okay, in the old days, you'd have to turn this on, let your water run to get it to the temperature that you want. Now you just set your controls here to the temperature that you want. It'll run through the fresh water tank and back into the hot water heater. Okay, and then when it gets to the desired temperature, this will change colors for you. And then that way you know your water is ready. So that way you're not filling up your gray tank just for waiting for the water to get warm. Okay, here you do have a fantastic fan. But you can turn this on, open up all of your windows, and then this here will help circulate the air all throughout the trailer. You do have the plastic stool here with the foot flush, so you can do it right there. You do have some more plug-ins down there for you as well, too. You do have a little sliding door right here, which will just come and pull out, so that way you can have some privacy right there. Okay, so... We're at M60 RV. You can find us on the web at m60rv.com, or you can come see us right here in Jones, Michigan, right off of M60. We have a nice couple sayings here. We like for you to come in as strangers and leave as friends. You're not a number when you come here. When you go to the worlds and some lazy places, your number is 6384-5214. No, here, you're Mr. and Mrs. Cameraman, Mr. and Mrs. RV Whisperer. You are who you are, and we really want to keep in touch with you and want you and your family to go out and see this great country of ours and send us some pictures when you're out there doing it, okay? If you have any questions or comments, just please put it in the comment section. If we miss something, we'll be more than happy to go back over it for you. And you may ask, what is the sale price on this coach? Mr. Cameron, do you know the sale price? 
24765. 24765. So how long does that sale last? Well, when we sell this trailer right here, the sale's over. Okay, well, we'll probably get some more, but we're just a small little company. This is the one we've got. So that's the sale price. When it sells, it's gone. We can still get you another one. I don't know if it'll be the sale price. Same sale price. But this one, again, was $24,765. Guys, if you're still here and you're watching, you took the time to watch it, we really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.